Welcome, welcome! It's my dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And today we're going to talk about the Roadmap Roundup for November 3rd. So you know they do these every other week. And let's go into what is new on this week's Roadmap Roundup. Uh, so it says, Happy Wednesday, everyone. Every two weeks we accompany Roadmap Roundup with a brief explanation, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Notable changes for November 3rd, 2021. Salvage. As previously announced on the September 8th Roadmap Roundup, the core gameplay pillar have shifted their focus to deliver features initially for Squadron 42 before then uh, moving integrated or moving to integrate it into the Persistent Universe. This has a twofold benefit. Squadron 42 will benefit greatly from additional resources and a dedicated focus and the Persistent Universe will see features come online in a more complete and polished state. In other words, we won't see features like Tier 0 features. We will see more like Tier 2, maybe, even though they'll probably be worked on even more. Uh, the core gameplay teams have recalibrated their schedules after their project focus transition are now planning to complete their work on salvage for Squadron 42 and Q1. 2022 to allow enough time to implement this feature set into the persistent universe salvage is now targeting a q2 22 2022 release okay so salvage second quarter of 2022 that means summer expect it in july august uh however you may notice that we renamed salvage tier zero tech to salvage tier zero this is a better re represent the expanded gameplay releasing with Salvage debut. More specifically, the initial release is no longer just the back-end tech implementation, but will introduce both hand-operated Salvage as well as ship-operated Salvage, like hull stripping and repair, using the systems on board the Drake Vulture. So we won't get the Vulture until quarter two as well, it sounds like. So you guys that are fans of Salvage, that that's what, they, what you want to do, it looks like you won't get it until quarter two of next year. So it kind of was bumped back again, kind of like what I predicted uh, last week. So I'm sorry that you're going to have to wait for it, but you're going to get a little bit more of a complete gameplay loop now that uh, they're waiting to implement more of it into the Persistent Universe. Uh, with that said, let's go on to what's new on the release view. Derelict spaceships, points of interest. Uh, points of interest that will be scattered on planets. They will be derelict spaceships with some type of activity or puzzle, traversal, hostile AI, something along those lines, and some type of reward for resolving said activity. This card has been added to Alpha 316. So derelict spaceships on 316. Mining gadgets. Uh, they will help modify rock, uh, the rock and assist the player with mining deposits. Uh, the player can attach a device physically to a mineable deposit in FPS to modify its stats, making mining either easier and safer or quicker and riskier. This card has been added to Alpha 316. Awesome. That one could be a lot of fun. I can see my org implementing the mining gadgets to a pretty high extent. Ship-to-ship -ship refueling, implementing the systems that will allow players flying specific ships to refuel other ships and get paid for it. Uh, the player can fill those specific ships' fuel tanks from a station using an updated rearm, restock, refuel interface at the landing zones and space stations. This card has been added to 316. Updates, Dying Star Map, updating the Dying Star Map by increasing overall size, adding new playable areas, more cover options, and new space assets. This card's also been added to 316. Gravlev Physics Rework, a significant rework of the flight and driving model for Gravlev vehicles when hovering. The aim is to improve general feel and stability, resulting in a far better experience for players using hover bikes. This card has been added to 316. So great news for you Dragonfly, you Aopa Nox fans, uh, this should really help how those vehicles feel on planet surfaces. Well, I guess hovering above them. DNA head textures update. Implementing art updates for the DNA archetype heads that will improve the quality of the DNA heads, both for players and common NPCs. 
This card's been added to 316 as well. And selling items to shops. Players will have the ability to sell items from their local inventory to shops using a new interface powered by building blocks. This supports the recently added loot generation feature, allowing these items to be sold for money. This has not been added to 316, it's been added to 317. NPC Taxi Mission Tier 0. Uh, NPCs will request transport between rest stops in this mission type, with the rewards determined by the speed, safety, and comfort in which the player delivers the NPC to their destination. This has been added to the 317. Finally, we have a use for our 600 eyes, for our Connie Phoenixes, for the 890 jumps. Of course, you'll be able to use other ships as well, but those ships are more designated for a luxury transport than anything else. Now, they may not move as fast as something like a Pisces, uh, but they won't get the comfort and luxury from that Pisces when, you know, delivering the NPC. So, something to keep in mind, I wonder how much it's going to pay out. Could this be a fun little side mission? Or, you know, could be a full-time job for some of you? I don't know. you have to wait till 317 to find out, and that'll be in March. The Drake Vulture. Building, balancing, and implementing Drake Interplanetary's light salvage ship, the Vulture, into the game. This card has been added to 318. So, again, that's quarter two of next year. So you can expect uh, the Vulture and all the salvage goodness that could come with it to begin uh, and to come out in quarter two of next year. So, due to both the aforementioned recalibration of the core gameplay schedule, as well as the prioritization of the above added features, these cards are being removed from the release view uh, until they are properly rescheduled. Origin M50 Engine Swapping. Called it. Called it. Called it. Knew that was going to get pushed back. I got a lot of pushback for saying that. But, I, I mean, let, let's face it. It's not something that's needed right now. Uh, I know you guys want that to be in the game because it's a step towards physicalized components and being able to swap out components and stuff. I get it. But we don't even have physicalized damage. So it, it, it needs to wait. It has to wait. And it probably will wait until after quarter two of next year when they get more of the server meshing online, unfortunately. Dynamic door alignment for vehicles. That is disappointing. Uh, that was needed very much so and uh yeah that's pretty disappointing i know a lot of other people are going to be disappointed about that one slipping as well player slide yeah i kind of called that one too i i figured that was going to be uh pushed back prone also pushed back um again these are not must-haves right now in the game they're only going to add a little bit if anything to the game the way it is uh, so I can see those being pushed back. Actor Tech Physicalized Weapon Handling. Again, it's not going to add a whole lot to the game at the moment. Uh, shield Ship Emitters. Well, that is another disappointment. I was hoping to be able to take out, you know, emitters so that we could bring shields down. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait again for that to come out at another date. Let's take a look at some of the sprints that concluded and the sprints that were started. We'll start with the sprints that were started. The AI navigation links, like elevators, transit, etc., that's been started. I guess uh, that needs to be polished a little bit. Uh, chapter, we'll see NPCs going up and down through elevators and things like that, because they got to get in your ships eventually, right? Uh, chapter 3 for Squadron 42 has been started. And then the sprints that have been included AI landing, AI navigation for like ladders and ledge grabs. Uh, Area 18 hospital staff outfits, the Atlas, which I guess is that vehicle type that the Ballista is based off of. Chapter 2 has been completed. Chapter 17 for Squadron 42 has been completed. Ganey, I'm not sure what Ganey is. Uh, it's a, maybe it's a character or a place, I don't know. Uh, Jump Point Spacescaping, five devs finished that. Uh, that is going to be interesting since we don't have jump points yet. Lorville Hospital Staff Outfits, Outlaw Medical Outfits, Player Item Shard 
Transition. That's going to be an important one. A security behavior. Star World's improvements, which that's like an editor, I guess they have. Theaters of War Crossroads of Crime is in the concluded state. When are we going to get it? Is it going to be 316? I hope so. That would give us a lot to do over the uh, holidays going all the way into March before they release another patch. Please, please give us Theaters of War, finally. Please let it not be buggy. Uh, and then Weapon, weapon Handling Tier 2 uh, was also concluded. So there you have it. That's the Roadmap Roundup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, what, what's your, what stands out the most for you in this roundup and, you know, for a good thing? And what's the biggest setback, do you think, from this roadmap roundup? What, what's your biggest disappointment? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel as it helps me on the algorithm. Uh, hit that little bell icon to let you know when I do more of these. If you want to contribute to the channel, you can do that through... Uh, my YouTube Patreon, or YouTube members and my Patreons. Uh, that will be in the description of the video as well. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy, and I'll see you out in the verse. <laughs>